What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo, and this is episode six of our Blind Pokemon Sun and Moon Let's Play. We are in Haoli City, and in the last episode, we had a pretty difficult battle at the trainer school. And now I really want to catch a uh, catch a couple more Pokemon here. I just realized everything. They didn't tell me that this happened, but all my Pokemon got healed, and I just wanted to make sure that I didn't and drop dead. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna have some battles in the tall grass. And try and see if there's three new um, Pokemon breeds or species that I can catch here. We got an Abra. Okay. This thing's going to try and teleport away from me. I just know it. And so I'm going to straight up throw a Great Ball at it. And uh, hopefully I can catch that. That would be awesome. Swing. Mm, he broke out immediately, and I was gonna teleport. Come on, that's so stupid. That wasn't even close. I hate great balls. They never work. Well, that was a massive waste of time. Uh, so what I'm gonna do here is, if they're just repeat repetitive battles, I'm just gonna kind of cut through this piece. I don't want this to take too long. So we got Meowth down now. Uh, Goose learned Pursuit, which is good. Pursuit is a great move. Um, probably not a great move to learn early at this stage of the game. What do we got here? Magnemite. Amazing. I was actually really hoping I could get my hands on a Magnemite. What level are you? Six. You shouldn't die to a water gun. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Yeah, that's good. I'll take a Thundershock, no problem. God, another crit! I am just getting... I am just getting crit for days in this game. So, uh, let's go ahead and... toss this out there. And, uh, now we're gonna... We got him. We're just picking up a Magnemite here. So I think that puts us at eight, um, eight species. Dollars is growing. And this one's going to be added to the Pokedex. And what's it saying? It sends out electromagnetic waves which let it float through the air. Touching it while it's eating electricity will give you a full body shock. Just basically don't mess with those things, ever. So I'm gonna nickname this Pokemon, but what am I gonna nickname it? Uh, I'm gonna nickname it Gambit, and this is gonna be kind of a hark to my good buddy Stevie Z. First battle I ever had on the channel. Uh, and I want to add it to my party, but I'm not... Should I do that now? Yeah, let's add it to my party. The reason I'm going to do this is that I already have a Pichu, and really I'm just kind of leveling it up until it becomes a Pikachu, but I imagine I'm going to be able to catch a Pikachu later, so I'm not too worried about that right now. So we're going to switch out Coach Chu, who is not super useful at this exact moment. So we got one. And uh, back to the grind. Okay, guys, we got another Abra here. We're going to take a shot at this one. Uh, again, we're going to throw another Great Ball. Uh, the throw didn't look great from my angle. But we do get a shake this time. We get two shakes. We get three shakes. Ah, got him. Not bad. Okay. Ah, feels good. Feels real good. And the EXP, Goose growing to level 8, Gambit growing to level 7, and learning Magnet Bomb, not bad, Steel type move. And Abra's a, Abra's a good pickup, Abra's a really good pickup, because this can help me a lot, I just need to get it to, if I can get it to the level of a Kadabra and then find a way to trade it, then it can become an Alakazam. It can teleport itself to safety while it's asleep. But when it wakes, it doesn't know where it is, so it panics. Great. Yes, I would like to give the Abra a nickname. Um, 
Let's see. So let's go with uh you know what I could do? I could name this after some of my subscribers. And some of my friends who have been uh been good friends of the channel. So I'm actually gonna name this one uh Jaira. Or just Ja. Name it Ja. Jaira was one of my earlier battles on the channel. She was here when I was a really, really small channel. And so uh, I gotta give her I gotta give her the shout out. Jaira this is also a female Pokemon. So that's even more uh, pertinent. So I want to add this to my party. I'm thinking... God, Fritz is so close to being out of the party. And I'm not really sure if Alolan forms evolve at different levels. Um, but maybe we'll catch a Persian later on. So let's drop dollars for now. That puts us at 9, I think, on the Pokedex. So let's, uh, let's round here a little bit more. Okay, we see a Rattata here. Rattata. Rattata. Pi Rattata. Rattata. Um, so he's level 7. Obviously, all Metapod knows is Harden. So let's switch out here. Switch into Gambit, who will... Uh, take any normal type attacks just fine. Dark type attacks. It's looking to be dark. Um, this is... Uh, because I'm assuming this is an Alolan version also. So he's got Tackle. I'll resist that. Still hits me for three. Good for him. I want to reorganize some of these, actually. And Magnet Bomb, I forget what it does. Power 60 that never misses. Yeah, so that's super powerful for this early in the game, actually. Uh, I guess I can't move. I can't move it from this screen. Uh, let's just hit him with a Thunder Shock, though. I don't want to Oko him. He's faster than me, and it looks like I'll survive one more, unless he high rolls me. And I didn't hit him for as much as I would have liked, so let's go one more attack here. He has a quick attack, uh, that actually might be stronger. It's not, it's the exact same power, that's right, same power as tackle. They shouldn't kill, I should bring him red zone, and now I can pokeball him. Not great ball, pokeball him. And we should be good here. I, I'm not sure if this puts us at 10, but it'll put us close. And I did lead with the um, with Fritz there, so maybe... No, I'm not going to get two levels. He's on level 8 at the moment. I'd really like to get Fritz to level 10. Rattata's data is going to be... <laughs> Rattata's data. Registered. What if he's like dark normal four times weak to fighting? That would suck. He is dark normal. Oh my word, I called it. When the sun goes down, it becomes active. And its boss is Raticate. Uh, yeah, we're going to give this thing a nickname. Uh, we're going to name this thing... What are we going to name this thing? We're going to name this thing Zom. So this is, uh, we're naming this little guy after, uh, Tom Z. Y'all know Tom Z. Coach of the San Jose Sharpedos. Friend of mine. Uh, but unfortunately, I don't want to stock this in my party for now. So I'm gonna send this to a box. Uh, maybe we will use him later. If I catch another one or eradicate or something like that, I'll also name him Zom. That is the uh, That's the name of the game for him. So let's check our Pokedex now. Hopefully this is at 10. Yes, we are at 10. So now we can go back to that researcher and say, Hey, what's up? Hello. Caution. Wet paint. Elima and Smeargle. So they don't want to let me go through there. They're just a judgmental group of uh, so-and-sos. I'm going to step through here. I'm assuming all of the grassy areas... Wow, that's really... that They're counting that as being in the grass? Okay, so that battle wasn't particularly interesting, except that it did show me some a cool bit of information. And that's that the Meowth in the grass there that I just fought actually had a quick claw of its own. So I can pick up Quick Claws in the wild if I need them. They're not super useful items, but they do have the potential in competitive play. 
Uh, they usually only see play if you're playing in a mode where you can't repeat items. They can be useful there. And Custap is usually a better option, but you never know. Uh, so we're going to rest my Pokemon here, because some of them are kind of hurt. Then we're going to go grab that item in the bush, and we're going to go head back to that Researcher and see what's up. Just check out what's going on here. Uh, it's 23 o'clock. Uh, Roserade T. Let's check out that. It's going to be 198. He's going to brew me up some, and then he's going to give me some info. Uh, what's he going to say? Highly aromatic. I don't really care about all of this. Something about pedal dance. He runs a cafe because everyone's busy. They can come here and relax. Uh, that wasn't useful. I thought he was going to give me something useful here. You want a tip? Uh, teaching us about same type attack bonus damage. You're a trainer, aren't you? Uh, fulfilling the wishes of an alluring lady. Alola. She wants to see a drift loon. So, okay, this is good to know, actually. These are little side quests. Um, I want to keep track of this, actually. This is good info for me. So, um, side quest. So, 10 Pokemon. I'm going to make a little note here. Uh, in Haoli. Um, Poke Center. This uh, blonde girl wants me to show her a Drifloon. And that's from the Haoli Cemetery. This is really cool. So they have, um, they have side quests. Like, several of them it looks like. You think you can capture one for me and register it to your Pokedex? Yeah. That is great, and she's going to pay me for the trouble. So, hopefully it's not just money. Totem Pokemon. That's not surprising. Do your trial and you find out what a totem Pokemon is. Okay, these guys are going to talk about trading. That's great. we got an old man over here. Uh, talking about items, talking about the tentacles. Who am I again? He's the move deleter. Okay, good to know also. Um... So I can make your Pokemon forget a move. Mm-hmm. Uh, no. Not at the moment, actually. But there's... That's really good to know. Uh... The Haoli Poke Center. And what's in the Pokemart here? Normal items? Uh, we got the X... X stuff. Don't like those. And I'm assuming this is just normal... Er day items. Okay, sounds good. Looking good, sound good, feeling good. So let's go turn in that. Uh, let's go turn in that quest of that researcher. All right, we're entering the building here, saying hello to this researcher. Look at you already you caught more than ten species of Pokemon. Then show me. This is perfect. This is all he needed. Why don't you take this? Well, thanks. What are you giving me? Ten Ultra Balls. Now that, that is what I'm talking about. That's amazing. Okay. Very cool. Definitely worth doing side quests is looking like so far. Uh, I think I've been in this one already. We got an item up here. What do we got? Uh, revive. Very cool to get one of those so early. Made it back out without having to get in combat. This is great. Looking good. And on the map that we can see on the on the back here, that this is a new... This is kind of a thing. Team Skull. Loitering around the marina again. I reported it to the captain, of course. What happens when young people have nothing to do and too much time on their hands? Look at these adults. Bunch of useless thugs. See, now you just seem like an ageist. You had to bring, you had to bring age into it. They keep trying to sneak onto the trial site to steal Pokemon to sell, and they fail every single time. Well, then they don't sound like a problem, do they? Did I hear them say Team Skull in the marina? I'm coming up here to see what's going on. It looks like Hal 
Oh, H Hala is here. Okay, so this is just kind of gating my progress to keep me on track. So I appreciate that. Uh, but what is that way? Route 2. So probably that's where we'll go after we're done with the marina here. We got a goose here. That's that kitty corner I was just at a second ago. What's up here? Is there a sign that tells me what this is? No. Uh, but there is a Pokeball here. What do we got? An Ether. Great. Very cool. Mm. Kind of just uh, invisible walls there not letting me in. But I'm going to check out this house. See if there's someone in here. He's got a Machamp. And he actually says his own name, which is great. He's a great helper. A couple of doors that we can't go in. I, I actually kind of appreciate that. But this is an amazing house. This guy's got a drift loon that goes Burr. Wild for a battle and they've got like a little cook in the, uh, in the area here. This is great. And she gave me a Lumios Galette, which is, I think, just cures Captainship because he exudes pure skill. Okay, a lot going on here. This really is a big city, but part of the reason I'm exploring it so well is they they often hide lots of little semi-important things in games like this. Upstairs here, we see this kid's room. Got some pears, trophies. Someone here is like a major record holder. I'm feeling it, um, but that's... Probably something we'll have to encounter later. For now, let's leave this house. This is a really big city. And there's lots to do, um, but we gotta go this way. I'm gonna see whether or not there's anything hiding in here. Okay, so there's nothing in there. Um, just had a Pokemon battle, so let's keep moving here. Uh, the city hall. Yeah, let's check out the city hall. And then maybe right before we head to the marina, um, we'll we'll call that the end of the episode here. Can't go in any of these doors. The family's growing. They're gonna get married, so they're gonna get their marriage license. Uh, this person might give me a quest. No. I just assume all researchers are gonna give me a quest, but. Uh, is anyone here? Give me a revive. Okay, cool. Very cool. We got a Machamp in the back helping them out. You see him walking in and out of the back there? This is amazing. Ribbons. Are you going to give me a ribbon box or something? No. How about you? No, nothing for you either. And what do they do up front here? Identification. Do you have a trainer passport? Oh. True that Meowth from Kanto are different from Meowth and Alola? Yes, that is true. Berry stock. Delivery from the berry fields. And yeah, nothing else going on here. So, looks like nothing uh, nothing important in the city hall. All you people up there in the city hall. And an item in this little nook here. So let's explore. Hopefully no battles. Shoot. Ooh, a Grimer. All right. All right. I'm super curious about the Alolan Grimer, actually. Let's hit him with that Magnet Bomb. Bump. Dang. Luckily, I resist that. Grimer's bulky, but uh, I have pretty good defense too. He has low attack, hitting with a low damage attack that's non-stab that I resist. So, hit him another one of those. I fail to see how an oozing pile of liquid garbage can harden. But, you know, poison's, uh, poison's a hell of a drug.
and we catch this thing, which is great. Um, poison type. What? What buddies of mine can can I name? Peck Peck learned Rock Smash. Very cool. That's a fighting type move. And uh, let's see, is he still poison? I'm curious about this Grimer, this Alolan Grimer. He is. Is he dark again? Is he just going to be another dark type? Poison dark. Okay, poison dark is amazing typing. So I am, I'm not complaining about that at all. Uh, but I was hoping for something. I don't know. This. I don't think we needed more dark types. This could have been an opportunity for them to release a whole bunch more fairies. The crystals on Grimer's body are lumps of toxins. If one falls off, lethal poisons leak out. Disgusting. But very cool. So what should I nickname Grimer? Um, ah, got it. I'm going to nickname him Blah. After Super Blah. Um, because I think that's funny. So we're naming this after Nick. Uh, but... I really do love Poison Dark as typing, but I don't really know what level... I don't remember what level Grimer evolves into Muck. And for now, I want to stick with... Um, I want to stick with... Types that... I want to stick with uh, Pokemon that are new and fresh to Alola exclusively. We've got a tiny mushroom there. That was cool that I that I took this little corner here to find that to find that Grimer though. I do like that. Wet paint, so I can't go that way. Got a little someone talking to a Pokemon over there. No, it's How. He just went to have an eat. How's it, Geo? Looks like you got good. If you're looking for good eats, you just found them. Plus, Malasada make you Pokemon will make your Pokemon like you. And affectionate Pokemon are battling better in battle. You couldn't resist giving your Pokemon a few Masada, huh? Something like that. I don't know. Whatever. Fuel, I want to go right down to the marina and scream out loud. Watch me, Tutu. No. Watch me, world. I'm going to beat even my old Gramps someday. He said even his old Gramps. Like, maybe... Maybe Hala is, like, a crazy good trainer. What do you guys think? Maybe Hala is the champion. It's a miraculous munchie born in Alola. Welcome to the mas Malasada shop. What kind of Malasada would you like today? Let's get a sweet one. Uh, we're going to give it to a little P, obviously. <laughs> Come on. Why don't, you, why don't you take a seat? Why don't you take a seat? Right over there. Why do I feel like I'm on to catch a predator right now? Munch, munch, munch. He chirped at me, and his affection went up. Very cool. How about you? What are you going to give me? A big malasada costs 350 I don't know what the purpose of having one is. So, But let's see if anyone in here has anything else. Uh, looks like no. I'm just looking to see if they're going to give me any items. I gotta ch You always got to do your due diligence in every city. Check every nook and cranny. Make sure you're not missing any crazy, uh, crazy important items. This is like a little area, but I don't think there's any way for me to go. Oh, okay. We got a little door here. A little gateway. And any items in the in the bottom corner here? Aha! TM! Echoed voice. Why are they all about this life right now? One thing I'm not a big fan of in these games is when TMs are... You know, moves that maybe are useful-ish early in the game and not useful later on. What do we got going on here? Just a couple of uh, Machamps chilling in this open vacant lot. So maybe this will later on in the game be built into something useful. Maybe it'll be like a new build. It's a completely empty lot. Could be DLC content at some point. I don't know. This is the police station. He's telling me to stand up for my... Stand up for myself and for my Pokemon. There's another little area there that I don't feel like I went into, but... Uh, 
Keep our roads clear and careful of riding Pokemon. Okay, and we're gonna check out in here, and then I think that's awesome. Grand Bull. Pretty peaceful. And looks like there's nothing going on in here. So, very cool. We got a, a little clef key chilling in the back here. And it's looking like we're going heading towards the marina. So what I will do is um, I will save the game here. And uh, we're going to call this an episode. So I, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Just finishing up... Uh, Checking out Howly City. We completed side quests. We learned a lot about side quests today. And I will see you guys in the next episode. As always, my name is Jim Leader Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you guys next time.